From Spartanburg, South Carolina to the Super Bowl with the Seattle Seahawks, number 67 on the Seahawks roster is from right here in the upstate. And his story is quite an inspiring one. Landon Cohen joins us here this morning to tell us more about it. Good to have you here, Landon. Yeah, I mean, people have, uh, have known you for a while in this community because you played at Spartanburg High. So, um, but you're back here in the area after the, uh, you know, the season, and uh, you have a business here. So that's what people are probably like, did I see Landon Cohen? Did he uh, park a car? Definitely. Uh, well, me and my buddies, uh, we started a company about three years ago. We actually started as high school kids, and we didn't have any insurance or things like that. We were just parking at <laughs> private parties and stuff. So we turned 25. We, you know, you kind of come to a crossroad in your life. Like, wh what do I want to do? Who do I want to be? What type of man do I want to be? Mm -hmm. And um, we're like, well, we want to serve. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. We want to find a way that we can serve our community, but also be able to make money. So we were like, we have valet experience. What better way to serve people and to, uh, to help your community than to start a valet company, so. So if you thought you saw Landon Cohen parking a car, you did, it's his business. Right, that is me, that <laughs> is me. Sometimes uh, it's tough for me to get in some of the smaller cars. <laughs> I heard about that, if a, if a Honda Accord rolls up, Landon is probably not gonna be parking that. Right, one. sometimes I squeeze in it. If I have to, I'll squeeze in it, but. You'll uh, do it. Yeah. Okay, so you played football at Spartanburg High, um, went to a, a bunch of different teams, and then right before the Super Bowl, like, got a yeah. call? Yeah, got a call, so. I was up, I was watching, um, in between sleep, watching Step Brothers. And I wasn't answering the phone because- yeah, I thought you were gonna be like watching the Real Housewives of the Land. <laughs> like, no, Step Brothers is actually my favorite movie. Uh, I could go on with lines, one liners and all that. But, uh, so I was just kind of chilling. I wasn't answering the phone because I didn't know who it was. They had called about four or five times. And then I finally decided to answer, what, uh, Dan Morgan actually sent me a text. I'm like, hey, we wanna sign you and pick up the phone. So. I picked up the phone, we got it done, and we rolled from there. So Seattle Seahawks, Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and everyone's saying he went from, you know, Spartanburg High School to, you know, parking cars to now to the Super Bowl. Yeah. What was that emotion like being on that team and, and experiencing that game? Well, um, for me, playing football since I was seven years old, I had prepared for that particular moment. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like an awe moment or anything like that. I think the the biggest thing was when you line up against the New England Patriots and you're the Seattle Seahawks, it's like the clash of the Titans, mm -hmm. the best of the best from that particular season, um, lining up against each other. It's, a, it's really a magic moment. It's like a dance. It's everything fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, we know them, they know us. So that's why it's such a down to the wire game. And I talked to you a, a little bit about why you wanted to um, come here and now, because you go to schools, you, you mm -hmm. talk to a lot of people. How important is it for you to not only, you know, be a person who's on the Seattle Seahawks roster, but someone who also has an impact on the Spartanburg community? Why is that important to you? Definitely. Uh, I, I, I think somebody mentioned a, like a role model. And for me, it's not being a role model, you know what I mean? That would mean that I'm acting. That would mean that um, I am playing this position of being mm -hmm. this. I, I'm, I'm this way, even if I didn't want to be this way. This some days I, I may wake up in the morning, I'm like, you know what, today I don't feel like talking to anybody. <laughs> you know, but for some reason or another, when I get out in the public, I am drawn to help kids and to, because somebody did that to me, my mm -hmm. dad's friends, my brother's friends, whether it be thumping me in the back of the head <laughs> as a kid, it was just showing that somebody cared about me and acknowledged that I was, you know, a human being and, and just like them. That's awesome. Thank, thank you so much for being here with us and telling us uh, what you're up to. When do you head back for? Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a free agent right now. So in the near future, uh, tomorrow, I'm a test monitor over at Mary H. Wright. <laughs> so uh, that is where my focus is. and. Uh, Awesome. You know, so when that time comes, we'll know. Awesome. Landon, thank you so much for being here with us, and uh, we'll see you soon. We'll have you back.